Hi students. Gravitational potential energy near the surface of the earth. Now look at this picture. This uh, earth is having a mass Me and radius Re. On the earth surface I have chosen a point A. And another point B is at a height H above the surface of the earth. So, what is the potential energy of this body of mass M at this height H above the surface of the earth? We have already derived in the previous chapter work energy and power that is equal to mgh. Is it not? The potential energy near the surface of the earth at a height H of your mass M is equal to what? mgh. So, the same we are going to derive in terms of another way. So for that I have chosen two points A and B, one on the surface of the earth and another one at a height h above the surface of the earth where h is very much less comparing to this radius. So here h is very much less comparing to the radius r. Okay, now what is the gravitational potential energy? The gravitational potential energy of this mass M at the point A, UA. Okay, so this is equal to minus of G into mass of the earth, Me into the given mass M divided by the distance Re. Is it not? Just now we have derived the expression for the gravitational potential energy of your system. At that time I told you that if the second mass is comparatively lesser than the first mass, then it is also called the gravitational potential energy of the given mass. Okay. So, the gravitational potential energy of the given mass at a point A is given by minus of G M1 M2 by R. So, I have substituted M1 is equal to Me and M2 is equal to small m and R equal to Re. So, this is uh, the equation 1. Now, if the mass is shifted to this height h, what is its distance from the center of the earth at B? So, B is at a distance of Re plus h from the center. Therefore, the gravitational potential energy of this body of mass M at the point B must be equal to minus of G into mass of the earth into given mass divided by Re plus H and this is equation 2. Okay. Now, if I want to shift this mass M from the point A to the point B through a distance equal to the height h, I should do some work. Is it not? I should do some work against the gravitational attraction. So, I will write work done in moving m, okay, from which point? From a up to the point b. This work done must be equal to what W and this must be equal to the difference in potential energy higher potential minus lower potential is it that work and energy both are equal in dimensions so the work done in moving this mass M from the point A to the point B is equal to the difference in potential energy higher potential is UB minus lower potential is UA okay so, UB minus UA, I have to substitute. So, this is now equal to UB. UB is minus G ME into small m divided by RE plus H. Minus of minus will become plus, is it not? The minus of minus, this will become plus. So, this is G M E into M divided by R. So, which are the common factors here? The numerator G M E into M. All these are common factors. So, I will take G M E into M. Now, first I will write the positive term. 
so g m e m into 1 by r so this is a 1 by r this negative term i have shift here 1 by r plus h okay so this is a r plus h now we take lcm so w is now equal to g into m e into m into so r e plus h into 1 is r e plus h minus r r e into 1 cross multiplication will give you another r e divided by this r e into r e plus h okay so now this numerator r e and minus r e get cancelled so now work done is equal to g into m e into small m divided by h divided by r e into r e plus h so comparing to the radius of the earth this height is a very small is it not since for this factor i can substitute what r e that is since h is very much less comparing to the radius of the earth i can write r e plus h is nearly equal to r e understand so in the denominator it becomes r e into r e is r e square therefore therefore w is now equal to g m e into m into h by r e square h by r e square so this is now rewritten like m into h into capital g m e by r e square now you must remember that the quantity written in bracket capital g into mass of the earth by r e square is nothing but the acceleration due to gravity small g is it not that so this g m e by r e square is equal to small g the acceleration due to gravity therefore this w is now equal to m h into g so that i will write as m g h so this is the way how we have derived earlier also what is the potential gravitational potential energy of your mass m at the height h above the surface of the earth that is equal to mgh so this only is called therefore this u is equal to mgh this is the gravitational potential energy understand that so gravitational potential energy near the surface of the earth is the work done in moving the mass m kg from a lower potential to the higher potential so that is equal to the difference in potential energy u b minus u a and finally that is equal to what m g h so this is the required expression for the gravitational potential energy i hope you must have understood well fine